All right, we have new details this morning on a mega deal to merge two hospitals in Syracuse. Leaders for SUNY Upstate and Crowell speaking publicly for the first time since the potential deal was announced in April. The merge was initiated by Kraus Health, which has been in financial trouble for years, and the public, well, they had a lot of questions. News Channel 9's Ashley Kafaro joining us live with more on the pending deal. Hey there, Ash. Nicole and Ryan, many of those questions coming from Kraus employees who say they've been left in the dark, and even after last night, their questions still remain unanswered. Employees asking if there will be a drastic change, how this merge will impact their job, as well as questions about insurance. What does this mean for their insurance premiums and benefits? Hospital leadership telling people the details of the merger are still being worked out, but Kraus leaders made one thing clear. The rationale for doing this consolidation does not involve firing half the people and moving on. I mean, this is, this is not a transaction that is going to be supported by downsizing. This is a transaction that's going to be supported by growth and by being able to take advantage of everybody in both organizations. Those avenues to people who have questions are open to them. Maybe we ought to do a better job of reaching out. Now, if the merger happens, Kraus employees will stay working at Kraus as 75% of them are unionized. And the same goes for Upstate. Nicole and Ryan. Okay, from healthcare to health news.